Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with Monday's What's Sold on eBay and Poshmark. <laughs> Yes, hope everybody had a great weekend. We are back at it with you on a Monday. Slow sales. Yeah. It's okay. What are you, you going to do? We sold 17 things on Saturday, if you didn't see our video. So I'm not mad about it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, not mad. No. Just uh, a slower sales day not for Not mad, us. just disappointed. Oh, that's the worst. That is the freaking <laughs> worst. Coming out of the gate with that. We sold three things on Poshmark and eight things on eBay. Which, for some of you that are smaller resellers, might sound like a great weekend. That is not that great for a Sunday and part of a Monday uh, to pay our mortgage. Because a lot of these were low dollar sales. But they do add up. Yep. We'll see how bad or good we did. <laughs> I'm just looking at these like... Oh, good. We are moving stuff, though. That is so important to keep that in your mind. Because, like I said, we're about to list a whole van full of stuff. That's right. And... Oh, no. Oh. oh. That's oh. fine. You just okay. got to redo right. that. Right. Okay. That's all totally good. All good. Okay, so we're going to start with Poshmark. Yes. Uh, I was taking all offers. I took every single offer that came in with the exception of one, which was a $5 offer on a $44 item. I did not take that. Right. But for the most part, anything that came in on eBay or uh, Poshmark in the last couple of days, I took it. So this was Harley Davidson. This is like... Not your typical Harley Davidson shirt. It's just like a button down plaid. Yeah. Um, hey. Why does this thing keep doing this? I don't know. It's I'm obsessed with that. Anyway. Anyway. We paid way too much money for the shirt. I don't know when we got this or how we paid six ninety nine for it. I may have e. gotten it. I, I feel like I got this out of town somewhere. I'm just like, Yikes. Okay. okay. Well, there goes that. This shirt sold for twenty one dollars, and yikes. <laughs> there you go I could tell you how long it's been listed I forgot to do that in the last video I'm very sorry um, it's number 5286 so it's not brand new that's for sure yeah. it's a short sleeve shirt we are starting to sell more like spring stuff spring starts tomorrow I believe um, it was listed one month ago what? no that's what, I mean. what? no no. That's that forever? No. It was listed on April 28th of 2022. Okay. I relisted it one month ago. Ah. Okay. So, it's been listed a year almost. <sighs> Not the best pickup. Sorry. Sometimes Harley stuff does really well, but that's that's showing you it's not just about brand, right? Yep. Okay. This was the weekend of the lovey. Okay. If you don't know what a lovey is, this is a lovey. It's like a stuffed animal head attached to a blanket. <laughs> And children love these dang things. Yes, they do. Uh, we pick up every single lovey. Shout out to my friend Chelsea, who hey. taught me this. She said, get every single one. It doesn't matter the brand. And she, thus far, has yes. been correct. Yes. So we sold a couple loveys this weekend. This has like a little uh -oh. something, something going on here. I do wash almost every single lovey unless it's new with tags. Because it's going to a child, you know. I'm like, mm. It's just like a little dust or something. Okay. Okay. Um, here's the ticket. Thank you. So I'm going to tell you, this one was, uh, I don't know, some kind of elephant. Hold on. Cla what is the brand? Cloud Island or something? Cloud Island. Yeah. I think that's Walmart or Target or something. Okay. I'm not really brand, sure. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't though. matter because when the kid loves it and they lose it, they need to get it again. Okay. So this was called Cloud Island Elephant Baby Blanket Gray White Stripe Security Lovey Target. Now, I think it's important, I say the brand doesn't matter, but I think it's important to mm -hmm. add the store because a lot of these are coming from Walmart or Target mm -hmm. because the, the parent might not know that it's called Cloud Island. Right. They're like, elephant from Target, hell. <laughs> <laughs> so I put Target in the title since that is in fact where it's from. Yeah. Good tip. Also, the only reason I'm putting this into a padded flat rate uh, envelope is because it sold on Poshmark and I can use any priority packaging I want. You can do what you want. So. Uh, also, this was listed January 4th of 2022, so we had it over a year, but that's fine. Like, we just sit on levies because they take up no room, yep. and they always sell. This ended up selling for $10 on Poshmark. Uh, I think it was an offer. It's fine. We paid nothing for it. Yep. 
Okay, the next is a pair of Birkenstock sandals that we got in a state sale. So we have $3.99 into them. And um, they're like not the Arizonas, okay? If they're the Arizonas, they go for more. Arizonas are what I wear, like with the two straps. These are the Betulas. Well, Betula, let me just educate you for a second. Betula is Birkenstock. It's like a little bit of a subsidiary. It's a yeah. lower end. So it's, yeah. Yeah, this is not the Betula sandal. Betula is like Mark Mark Jacobs or Michael <laughs> Michael Kors. Right. Okay, so it's a little lower quality. I don't know what the actual dang on thing is. Birkenstock. I'm going to look it up for you. These are, what I wrote was Betula Birkenstock L7 M5 38 narrow brown stripe fur single strap sandals. Oh, learn something. Okay, if it has the foot that's filled in, mm -hmm. that's narrow. Yes. If it has just an outline of a foot with no fill, that's a, that's a regular slash wide. Definitely put that in your Birkenstock listing. Definitely. Definitely. Let me tell you one more time. This is a narrow. See how the foot's all colored in? Narrow. And then put all those numbers that you see right there, put them all because Birkenstock people need those numbers. Should I just put in this? Yeah. Okay. Is there... Okay. All right, Siri. All right. Uh, these sold for $25. I got the offer. I just took it. Took it. I just took it. They're not the most desirable. They're still in good condition. Yeah. They've been listed since uh, October 14th of 2022. And uh, they sold in five months. I could have gotten more for them, but they do have like some toe marking here. People don't usually care about Birkenstocks. I know there's videos on how to clean them with baking soda and stuff, but these are in pretty good condition. Mm. Um, Birkenstock has a serial number embossed under the label. I'm like looking for it. Uh, <laughs> you can tell if they're fake. Just do your checks. All right. So that's it for Poshmark. Ooh, we didn't even clear $100 over there. Ooh. Yeah. Yikes, yikes, yikes. <laughs> okay. okay it's all good let's go let's move on that's what monday's about starting the week and Ugh. just like going to work getting work done we're gonna start listing live at 7 p.m central time and go till 10 so we're making it a full three hours because our sales aren't where we want them to be and so the only answer to that the only answer is to list more. That's it. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna list more. <laughs> Boom. Hey. Listing more. Okay. That's not how you make a stack. Oh, I know. God. But oh. It's fine. He it's, knows it's, it's gonna fall. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Like it's gonna go at any second. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be oh just no! Fine. Just, just get a bag. Where's, the, where's that red bag? That red, red bag. <laughs> oh God. It's got clothes in it over here. Okay. All right. Let's just go. All right. The next thing that sold was on eBay, J. Jill plus size 4X Lux Supima Cotton Tunic Red Stretch Jersey Top Blouse. Uh, I sent out an offer for this today. That's another thing you can do when your sales are slow is send out offers. Uh, and it sold for $22. I send out offers manually. I don't do the thing where you go to the eBay and you can just like send 10% off on every single thing that's eligible. I don't do that because I send out offers based on how long I've had things and like what I'm willing to take for it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 6286. Um, this was listed on December 15th of 2022. So it did take a little bit longer to sell, but hey, all that stuff's selling off. We've done, I can give you an update today if you want. I, I'll do that. And it will just show you how much of that plus size haul has sold. And I think a lot, of, like maybe 70% or something. It's been a lot. There's not much left. Which is great. Um, okay. Uh, 13 ounces. 13. Next is an Ann Taylor item. We just sold an Ann Taylor item yesterday, too. Or what? Saturday, too. 13, you said? Uh, 14, I think. Oh, God. It doesn't matter. Once you're over 12, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's 13. All right, this is Ann Taylor size two petite gold damask woven short pencil career skirt sparkle. What a shimmer shine sparkle. Where are you at? Hmm? I 
hope she's okay and lurking. She's probably lurking. Um, I want to show you a bunch of things. Do it. Okay. So mm -hmm. when you have a raised pattern, can you get in there? Oh, yeah. There's, there's some subtle differences between damask and brocade, and we'll talk about those one day, but damask pretty much covers it. So if you don't know, you can just use that term. This does have a metallic fiber in it, which gives it that sparkle and shine. This is a pencil skirt. A pencil skirt is above the knee, and Dan drops it on the floor. Oh, no. Uh, I think I got a bunch of these at the bins. Uh, it's important, in my opinion, to get petite pencil skirts because... A regular pencil skirt will not fit someone like me. You can't just like make it work because it doesn't hit above the knee. Do you see what I mean? It's mm -hmm. like all ill-fitted. So pencil skirts that are in the petite size do particularly well for us and I do pick them up because if you are in my boat you have to have a petite pencil skirt and a lot of people wear them to work. Uh, the So I did put career in the title did put petite. I put 2P and then I wrote out the word petite, which I think people do search for. Okay. Um, the petite, uh, like search filters, they, especially on eBay, Poshmark and thread up, they don't work that well. So I find if I just type out the word petite in the search field, it works better. And I do actually get petite results. I can't explain why, but that's truth. Uh, this sold for $18 and we got it at the bins. Nancy. So I'm happy with that. And I'm also happy to provide Quality petite clothing in our shop. Nine ounces. All right. The next is going to Ruth. All right. Oh my gosh, so exciting. She's so nice and buys all this crazy stuff for us. <laughs> yeah, I got all these buttons this one time. I mean, like, insane amounts of buttons. Yes. I had them everywhere. I think there's a picture on her Facebook at some point. There might be. These are, like, retro from the 1960s, plastic. Uh, buttons. These are not from the 60s, but they're 60s style. Do you see what I mean? Like flower power. So I, the title is Retro Posies Flower Flower Theme Two Hole Buttons Dress It Up Jesse James Shank and Sew 20 Piece. Retro is a term that means inspired by a time period. Vintage and retro are not synonymous. You feel? I feel. So I don't want somebody to think that these are actual vintage buttons. So I started the title with retro. You feel? Okay. Uh, these sold for $6, which I'm happy for. I mean, I listed so many buttons that day and all these kind of notions. Anything that's like sew sewing little tchotchke things we call notions in the in the world of the, the, the lingo. It's the lingo. One. <laughs> <laughs> One ounce. Thank you, Ruth. Thanks. We appreciate you. Next is, okay, this is a good one for some hot tips. Hot tip. Oh, no. Oh, no. So we did this for a while, and we're going to stop doing this where we wrote problems on the ticket. I need you to open this. I might have, we might have a sewing lesson. This is Ralph Lauren Club Monaco size 2 black shirt dress button down wool blend career and I have told you that I think Club Monaco is coming back. It is a Ralph Lauren brand but they all they do have a store called Club Monaco, right? We used to buy this stuff cuz it's very high quality and it wouldn't sell and now all of our Club Monaco stuff is selling recently. Okay, so I remember all this. Is there a button in here? Do we have a button? Do we have a button? Do we see? Oh, shirt dresses do so well for us. But what we have here is a cracked sleeve button. Yeah. So now I gotta go to the button factory. Speaking of buttons, and sew a new button on here. Oh. Okay, sewing a button is super simple, but me going to find the button is gonna take a hot minute. Mm -hmm. So can you lint roll this while I go find a button? Sure. Okay. One moment, please. Okay. Of course, these are the nice iridescent looking. These are, I think these are plastic mother of pearl looking buttons. I don't think they're real mother of pearl buttons, but we'll see. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
although any lint rolling I'm doing now, I'm probably going to have to redo, because you know how it is with black garments, right? Attracts all of, all of the lint. Silence. I know I look like a psycho, y'all. I know. And I just saw how frizzy my hair is. We're just like, we're on another level today. All right, so when I go to estate sales, this is the hottest tip of all. Hot tip! Every woman of a certain age has this in their bathroom. They have all the notions and all the extra buttons that ever came off anything they ever bought. So I buy it every time. Look, every time I buy these. And if you have enough buttons like this, and you can, I mean, this is probably a dollar. Like the estate sales, like, do you really want that? And I'm like, yes, I do. Uh, you can normally replace things and then get the full value out of something. So here we go. Help me find a button. Oh, yes. This is like a treasure hunt. And it doesn't have to be exact. It just has to look like pretty much the same. And it just needs to be the right diameter. That's the key. Now, if this is a pretty, this is like a mother of pearl looking button. That's what I said. So, um, I'm pretty confident that we can find something that will work just great. Uh, if it were like a specialty button, no way. If it was a branded button. But I do buy these things, and then when we get stuff from the estate sales, sometimes the buttons are broken, and I have the extra one, the branded button or whatever. And that's when this technique really comes into to play. And look, y'all, these little bags of buttons, I mean, like, come on. Mm. This lady organized her buttons. I need a really better way to, you know that little thing with the little drawers? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Will you do that for me? You're all into that kind of thing. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not into it. This is not, uh... We're gonna be okay here. And some of these like are... Oh, 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 oh. oh. Is it the right size? Just to make sure it's perfect. See? Yes! Let's show the camera. Let's see. Yes! Get After so I, was, I was about to be negative. Get it. Why? Because I was like, I don't think we're, we're going to find one, and then I got it. Yeah, negative Nancy over here. So there's the broken one. <laughs> and there's the replacement. I don't know. Y'all can't see that too well. But anyway, we're going to sew a button. Here we go. Okay, so what you do to you, sew a button. I'm going to clean this up. Okay. Gosh, this thing is grabbing onto lint like crazy. That's exactly what I said. I'm going to have to read lint roll it anyway. You need this. This is a seam ripper. You can get these at any craft store or from Amazon. You have to have a seam ripper. Don't go at a button with scissors. You will rip it. I'm telling you from experience. <laughs> get a seam ripper. How I know. Get a seam ripper. All right, y'all ever want sewing lessons? I need a hair tie. What is go? I keep looking at myself in the camera like, <laughs> whoa. I think we need more salt in our thing. Probably. We have a we have hard water here, and so when the we have a salt thing, I can't explain it any better. Water than that. softener. We have a water softener, and um, when it go, this is what happens to my hair when we don't have salt. In. <laughs> Woo! All right, yeah, I don't care. All right, so we took the button off, and you want to get all the extra threads because they will pose a little bit of a problem. Luckily, this is just black, so we can just use any black thread, but I'm going to show you how to thread the needle to make button sewing faster. Okay, so okay. Who wants to spend hours sewing on a button? This is learned from the theater when somebody needs a button sewn on immediately. Look, these are exactly the same. Yes. Crazy. Yes. Oh my god, I need a hair tie. I don't have one. <laughs> All right. Fatal flaw. I know. Never leave without a hair tie. All right, here we go. So I have black thread in here, and because I was going to use this for something else, but I didn't. I'm going to go, so I threaded the needle, just like a regular thread of the needle. I'm going to put the ends back through it and thread it twice. You feel what I'm saying here? Come on. 
Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I need a needle threader because I don't have my glasses. Is that fine? Yeah, I just put that in my mouth. That was great. Okay, perfect. So this is a needle threader. Let me get all up in here with my get in there with my frizzy hair. This is a needle threader. If you ever never never knew what one of these was, move your face. <laughs> all right, you put this thing through the needle like that. Dang it. There okay. Then you put the thread, the one I just licked. You're welcome. <laughs> you put your thread through that, through that hole like that, and then you pull it, and it threads your needle. Okay, so I have threaded this needle twice, and then I'm going to tie a knot at the end. So I have like a quadruple. Like a double, yeah, like a quadruple thread. So that means I only have to go up and down through the holes of the buttons a couple times. <laughs> instead Smart. of going... 14,000 times. If you can't remember what I just said, it's fine. Just thread it once and I'll still show you how to sew on a button. This is just going to make it easier for all of us, okay? Okay. It actually makes it really clean too, your button sewing. Uh, the back of most buttons have a big knot like this and that's why. Because the machine is like that they're using. Okay. So what you want to do is line up your button on the previous holes if you can see them so that it's a perfect match. I need some light. I know we have the ring light, but like I need some light. This uh, is dark, 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 dark. I need light. Yeah, I need that light. All right, Melpo to the rescue. Melpo. Come on, here. Come Land on. of darkness. Come on. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, yes. Now I can see what's going on here. And if you don't find the original holes, it will be potentially ill-fitting. So what I do is before I place the button, I try to go up through the original hole. Okay, so I'm starting from the back. I'm going to try to get closer. We're doing a sewing lesson. This is an impromptu. We didn't know we were doing didn't, this. Didn't know this was going to happen. Okay. I, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Can they see? So I'm taking a thread and I'm going up through the hole. And then I'm going to put my button right where my needle is. So what I'm saying is place the needle first and then put the button there, okay? I guess we could zoom in a little bit. Can you zoom on that thing? This is what you're getting then, as good as it's getting. Sewing lesson with Amy. So there's a couple different ways to sew on a button. So I wanna look at the other sleeve and see the same way. This is just going the extra mile. So they have done a two by two situation here. Do, 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 do. Instead of like doing the cross, I'm sure you guys are recognized. Look how freaking filthy this thing is. So we're gonna do a two by two like railroad tracks, just so it looks the same. And now that we have our thread like whoppered, <laughs> he, he, this is very fast. So I go, I'm through the first hole. Sorry if you guys can't see this, but I'm trying. Go down through the second hole. And since I have my thread quadrupled, you're gonna see it looks like I sewed this a million times even though I didn't. See, that's one train track. And I'm going to go to the side. <laughs> Dropping everything. We're just not set up for this kind of filming. And go up through the other hole, right here. And down to form our other train track. That's it. Nice. I'm done. Literally four stitches. What? Well, it was two. Need. Up and down, one. Up and down, two. That's it. That's all you got to do. Wow. You don't want to tie your button so tight, though. This is a mistake that people make because it needs a little bit of room to wiggle to get into the buttonhole. So I always kind of like pull up on it a little bit. So it's got a little bit of on it. You can tie this any way you want to. Some people do like a do 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 do. That's what I do, but it's a little bit hard to teach. So I just grab a little piece of the fabric. I'm just gonna grab a little piece and then I'm gonna tie a knot just because I don't I don't want to go through that right now since we're shipping. Right. 
but there we go and the button has room to move we are we're golden nice except for the lint very nice dang it <laughs> Okay, we're not putting notes on stuff like that anymore because now that April's working for us, uh, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She can sew on buttons, but she doesn't know where my button collection is and it would just be way too much to ask of her. So we used to put stuff that needed to be lint rolled. We'd be like, oh, we'll lint. we're not doing that anymore. All right. Yay, sewing. Yay. Okay. Golly, come Me. on. All right, I need to figure out a way to keep all of these buttons. Look at this little pocket knife someone kept. Oh, those could be, they could Look. be good. Pocket knives can be worth money. It's a Swiss Army. It's a oh. baby one. Mm. No, <laughs> apparently that's not a good one. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Like older, like case knives and like bone handle knives and stuff. Okay, I, I don't need, know why I know that, but I do. I need like a big button box. I guess I don't need to keep them separated. I could just like, you know. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to keep it in this thread up box because it says thread on it and <laughs> I will maybe remember <laughs> that it's in here. Probably not. Probably not. Probably, you'll never see my button collection again. <laughs> if I freak out about it in a video, y'all remember to tell me it's in a thread up box. All right, roll the tape. <laughs> Help us out. I do have these little drawers we got. I really want to make little button drawers. You better write on there with a sharpie or something. Buttons. <laughs> but it's like the hottest tip I can tell you because, I mean, that dress wasn't worth a ton, but sometimes we'll get like, you know, something that is worth a lot and you can't, you have to either mark it down because it's damaged and you could just put a button on it. I think I've spent maybe $5 on everything you see here. Like, no one goes after the stuff at estate sales. I don't care what kind of town you live in. No one's going after the notions, okay? <laughs> Except for me. Usually they're like, they just throw them in for free because they're not even priced. True. Buttons. Buttons. All right. Okay. This is a very special button case that I have. 13 ounces. It is full of Eskandar buttons. Oh, that's nice. So when we got the Eskandar haul, I got the buttons because mama ain't a fool. I know. Mm -hmm. Look, smart. all of these Eskandar, St. John. And Eskandar also gives you the red. So if we wanted to get a sweater fix, we got the thread. Okay. All right. Anyway, how much? 13. What? 13 ounces. That's all for $30. Man. Okay. The next is something we just sold on um, Saturday, but we yeah. just sold another one. We put these... Um, Dryer sheets. Thank you. <laughs> I like totally whiffed. Uh, the free and clear ones. If there's any kind of like, you know, mothball-y. These had a little bit of an old smell to them. They're fine now. All right. Uh, this does not work for cigarettes or anything like that. If it's like, this was just a faint whatever, I just give these to April and I'm like, just stick it in the bag. You know, if she smells any kind of like floral or anything. But strong perfume, no, girl, no. You gotta, we have something sitting on our front porch soaking in the sun for like three weeks now. Uh, these sold, this is Chico's, I guess I should tell you, women's size one, US eight, travelers, black pants, elastic waist, wide leg, slinky crop. It's those Chico's travelers pants, man. They do really well. They sold for $25 right where I thought they would sell. 13. 13 ounces. Okay. Another lovey sold. What? Get out of here. Sure did. I guess people are losing them in the airport. <laughs> Spring break. Right. Uh, this is Sock Monkey brand or whatever. I don't know. Sock Monkey. But it's like a pink one. Okay. And the tag is faded, but it's from Baby... I don't know. It's Baby. Something. Is this unbreakable? Well, the rattle. It's like internal, internal. Yeah, I don't know. 
Baby Starters Pink Sock Monkey Lovey Security Blanket Cuddle Sleep Plush 11 inches. This sold for $10.75 plus shipping. And there we go. Just happy to have those around because even when sales are slow, that's a need, not a want, right? So if you have stuff like that in your store that people need, even if they're lower price point, it's still nice to make the sales. So we get them every time. It takes us four seconds to list. Right? Do, 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 do. I Google image it, know exactly what it is immediately, and it's fine. Okay, the other thing I always get at the bins is plus size one piece swimwear if it's in good condition four ounces and what you want to do is stretch it a little bit and make sure it's not like cracking right. the elastic isn't dry rotted uh, because i find that in the plus size swim category there's not a lot of great options at the store so people go online to buy it and most of the stuff i find is cute sometimes i get little swim dresses i don't know what the kind this is but this is a brand called great lengths i don't okay. really care about the brand either unless it's miracle suit i care about that brand because it's great yeah great links women's plus size 22 longitude sash floral blue swim swimsuit support b through d mm, that's what i got off the internet 10 ounces and it sold for 24 dollars. sweet again a need versus a want like you need a bathing suit if you're going on vacation and you don't have one right you need one so you're going to go online and get one the next thing, this is free people. This is a want. This is a want item. It's a skirt. Like, you don't need a skirt. <laughs> and I think we need to talk more about that as resellers. Needs versus wants. Swim is a need. Yeah. Fashion is a want. So, when sales are slow, list the needs, right? Good. We got them. Good. Good point. Good point. This is free people. Size 8. Yours truly. Mini skirt. Boho Western. Multicolor. Chevron. Linen. This sold for $15. And um, we've had it listed quite a while, I'm gonna tell you. Six ounces on that guy. Uh, our free people sells, but we also price it to sell. Yeah. And I think a lot of people are like, how do you sell free people? Well, that one sold for $15. <laughs> so you gotta price it competitively, five, six, five, eight. Did I write that right? Five, eight, six, eight. Five, eight, six, eight, yeah. Five. Eight, six, eight. Y'all, I wear glasses all the time, but I can't with the ring light because it's just... So that's why I can't read anything. All right. This was listed on September 12th of 2022. So I was happy to get an offer and move it, right? Probably could have sold for a little more had I waited, but you have to assume that most free people stuff is saturated. You have to assume that. So like if they don't get it from me, they're going to get it from somebody else. So strike while the iron is hot right also we were taking all offers <laughs> we're not down about it though that's the difference like i think our vacation really helped sometimes if you over analyze your business day by day you can get kind of down maybe you need a vacation i agree with that 100 percent. or a staycation maybe you just need to step away for a minute if you're feeling super down other thing here because our we use a scan form there's been a lot of talk about scan forms in our facebook group uh they don't bother us at all in the way in our workflow i don't know about your workflow 6286 so just do what works for you all of these numbers are the same yeah. whoa they're all very close <laughs> 6286 this yeah. is 86862 mm. right mm. that's the right number right 6286. Yes. I have been known to transpose a number every day of my oh, life. Oh, man, me too. <laughs> Gotta watch out. 
Okay, uh, six, six, two, four. Why are they all like this? I don't know. Wait, I don't have that one. Oh, yeah, I do. Six, six, two, four. I'm freaking out. I feel like I don't know numbers at all. I feel like I'm looking at the SATs. Ah. Two, two, zero, six for Ruth. Two, two, zero, six. To the little guy. Seven zero four two. We saved it. Now saved see, it. Mm, what uh, weight did you have on that? Seven zero four two. Thirteen ounces. Okay, so it, it can go all the way to fifteen or sixteen, and it's the same price. Can't remember those. We know that the button on this cracked, so putting it in a poly is probably not the best idea. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna. You don't have to stand up, friend. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and slide this in here as an extra precaution. Since we know the button broke. Like, I don't think we need to be tempting fate like that. Again. Right? right? Yeah, good call. And it's still only coming in at 13 ounces. We're, I don't know why. Even better. Six, eight, six, two. Chico's, right? Yep. Sock monkey. Two, three, eight, zero. <laughs> Seven, Six eight nine zero. It's so weird. We sold so many like six eight. Six eight. Yeah. Five eight six eight. Crazy. All right. All right. Hate it. We're trying to get these videos out earlier, but it's just like not really happening. <laughs> We're going to try. We'll be right back and show you how much we made. Yeah, come right back. Thanks. Yeah. All right, you two. Oh, really? You're so excited? You know it's free time? Yeah. All right, come on. Sorry about the fans, we're trying to dry out our floors. We had a dishwasher leak. Jeremy doesn't care about dishwasher leaks. He just cares about the treats. Yeah, I gotta run to the post office. Say bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Okay, I'm taking things down. So sometimes something doesn't come down because there's an active offer on Poshmark. I just want to tell you, if you go in and change the size, like edit the listing and change the size and update it, list it again, it takes away the offer. So then you can go into Vendo or in Poshmark and just delist it after that. And you won't get, oh, ah, oh, hasn't caught up yet. <laughs> Sometimes I have to do it a couple of times, okay? Lame. And I'll change like the category because sometimes it's late, lately not been working out in my favor. Come on. There it goes. Yes. yes. I put it in maternity. <laughs> uh, there was a really good question. So I'm going to finish doing this. I'm going to show you guys how Vendu works while I do this. So I just type in the number 6862 Chico's Pants. I'm going to mark as sold. I'm putting in all my info here. $29.99, cost of goods. Some people in, are new and they haven't seen Vendu. 
marketplace fees. We Everything we sold today was promoted. So if you're not promoting your items on eBay, I would. We promote ours pretty high at 8%. Cap it at 8. It hurts. <laughs> but at least we're making sales. So 2380, Sock Monkey. So I go mark as sold on eBay and then it delists from Poshmark and Macari automatically. I have to mark it as sold though for it to do that. Cost of goods is 99 cents. Marketplace fees was 390 and shipping was 381. And then it tells you over here, once the screen goes down, 704 was our profit. Went on a ride. Yeah, we're back. Okay. Okay. Uh, so it de once you mark something as sold, it'll delist it on Poshmark and Macari automatically for you. Love that. 6890. This was not cross listed yet. I didn't even get a chance to. Cost of goods, 99 cents. Marketplace fees, 671 because it was promoted. Shipping was 504. That's what we paid for shipping. They paid 499. And we're going to talk about that in just a second because we had an awesome YouTube comment that was a great, astute question. Okay. And I want to I answer it straight up. We do this every single day because so much of our stuff is cross list. 782 for that. Where did this come from? There's no way that costs that much. It's an estate sale or something. Right? No way that costs that much. Oh my goodness. Sometimes, Lord. Maybe it had that. I don't know. Oh wow. That's crazy. Um, okay. Let's do these posh marks really quickly. I separate them because I sometimes I mess up if I don't separate them. Harley Davidson. So we go to Poshmark. Mark is sold. Yeah, this is killer. These cost of goods, six ninety nine. Mm -hmm. That is crazy for us. Um, I put zero for shipping expenses. We do do a discount on most of our Poshmark. Of uh, we do five. What is it now? Five. Two hundred two. It's two hundred two discount. discount. Yeah, I don't know, five ninety five or something shipping. Something like that. Um, Cloud Island. This one. Okay, we're gonna go to market sold. I have a multi quantity on this, so quantity sold is one. You can do multi quantity on Vendu now, in case you weren't aware, which is great. Man, that's eaten into that. So we have a two ninety five dis two oh two discount, and it only sold for ten dollars. So that's yeah. not great. Need to reexamine that. I just do that on everything, but I need to not do that on things that are lower priced. What am I doing? Okay, so see, it still says listed because I have one more left. So that's good. Save. And then four, six, five, six. Lots of low dollar stuff today, but you know what? Not mm -hmm. every day is going to be like this. <gasps> see, I almost messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I just get so used to doing eBay, you know? Right. Okay, so... Here's the discussion we're going to have, and I'm going to do a little math. Okay. Math corner. Uh-oh. I know. Math corner. Okay. Almost everything. I think everything we sold today, yes, everything was first class. So we had on eBay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things. We charge $4.99 for first class. 4.99 times, is that the times? Eight. $39.92. I'm going to write it down. Okay. Now let's see how much we actually like shipped for, because some people are like four ninety nine is not enough because some of your higher dollar things that are like fifteen ounces, which we do sell a lot of, are like six bucks. Right. I still am under the impression that we're still breaking even on shipping, and I think the four ninety nine price point helps us sell items because it's cheaper than everyone else. Okay. So I'm like, am I willing to give up a dollar and change on some sales to do this? First price, first class is creeping up in price. So we might not stay here forever, but let's see if we're breaking even. Okay. Okay, right. here we go. I like it. 622 plus, that's what we shipped these J. Joe shirt for. The Ann Taylor skirt, 504. So, okay. The flower buttons, 390. See, that one was less. The Club Monaco, 488. Also, it depends on where you live, man. Mm. 622. What'd I do? What'd I do? No. Shipping. Oh, shipping. S 622. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Minus 488. Did I do this one right? Yeah. Just use the, the pig list. It's all written in order. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's such a good idea. 
Yeah, I can't see. Okay, what do I do? Okay, I'm going to start again. <laughs> 6 is 22 plus 5 over 390. You're so smart. 622 plus 644 plus 381 plus 504 plus 420. 4087. And we charge 39.92. 95 cents off. 95 divided by 8. We're losing 12 cents on shipping on each. I'm willing to lose 12 cents to have a competitive shipping price. This is just one sample, but you can see that a lot of them were over the 499. One, two, three, four, five were over the 499 that we charge, and three mm -hmm. of them were under. But the three that were under were under enough to make it worth we, her while. Right. We should spot check this. Yeah, we should. Excellent. Totally agree. Uh, especially once we start listing the stuff from the van, because a lot of that's 15 ounce. Eileen Fisher pants. Yeah, you're right. So we might revisit this. If we have a shipping policy set up. All we have to do is go in and put not four ninety nine and make it five ninety nine, or make it five twenty five, or whatever we want. It's so easy. We don't have to go into individual listings or anything. You just change it in the shipping policy. Easy peasy. And you're done with it. But for right now, I think we're going to stay right where we are. Yes. All right. How much do we make today? Oh, let's find out. Okay. So we go to analytics. Today. Come on, big money, no whammies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Whoa, you guys, this is really bad. <laughs> All right. Well, okay, we sold 11 items. Oh, man, that ASP, though, is 2242, but that's just not even true. 117.41 divided by, oh, 11. Ten dollars and sixty-seven cents profit per item Yikes. was the average. That's no bueno. Yeah, we need to we need to just work. Okay, yeah. let's look at the month to date though. Month to date, we still have eleven more days. We do forty-five hundred bucks in profit for the month. That's pretty good. That's pretty yeah. We're not where we need to be, but you know what? We're listing more. That's true. Here we go. All right, guys. Thank you for hanging out with us. We really appreciate it, and <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you tonight. Live listing on the other channel, which is linked in the description down below. A half an hour earlier. Yeah, and, and later. And later, 7 p.m. Central Time until 10 tonight. We'll see you there. Bye. Bye.